Hi, welcome to my channel. In this travel vlog, let's explore Armenia. From Abu Dhabi International Airport, it will take around 3 hours and 30 minutes going to Yerevan International Airport. I would happily recommend Sheena from Rio Travels to organize your trip. We started our day one tour at Tajkador Ropeway. The armchair ropeway of Tajkador is located on the eastern slope of Mount Terinis. All of Armenia is visible at a glance, and if weather is clear, you can enjoy a breathtaking view of Mount Ararat. I know guys, it looks scary, but it's really fun. They also have ATV rides and other outdoor activities. After that, we went straight to Lake Sivan. Lake Sivan is a large high-altitude lake in eastern Armenia. Did you know that it is one of the largest freshwater high-altitude lakes in Eurasia? If not, now you know. <laughs> You can find some artists selling their paintings of Lake Sivan, lots of small shops with unique souvenirs to check out. There are also restaurants nearby if you want to have some snacks. Beautiful views all around. It is so peaceful and serene. Gegard Monastery It is a medieval monastery in the Kotaik province of Armenia. It is also listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site with enhanced protection status. It contains a number of churches and tombs, most of them cut into the rock, which illustrates the very peak of Armenian medieval architecture. Water fountains are everywhere, and they call it pulpula. It is a fresh water, so it's very cold and refreshing. Don't miss your chance to try the traditional sweets of Armenia. You can find them along the streets. Our next stop is the most famous Garni Temple. The Garni Temple is the only standing Greco-Roman colonnaded building in Armenia. 
Built in the Ionic Order, it is located in the village of Garni, in central Armenia, around 30 km east of Yerevan. It is the best known structure and symbol of pre Christian Armenia. On our second day, our first destination is Aragat's Alpine State Sanctuary. Absolutely beautiful place. When it's summer down below, it's freezing here. Mount Ararat is a biblical mountain. It is believed that Noah's Ark landed here after the Great Flood. The view is really good for pictures and taking a selfie. Our next stop is Sagmusabang Monastery. It is a 13th century Armenian monastic complex. Wow, look at this beautiful landscape. After that, we went to Amberd Fortress. Amberd is a 10th century fortress located 2,300 meters above sea level. It is not only a popular destination in Armenia, but it is definitely a gem of the medieval architecture of the Caucasus. Alphabet Ali We didn't spend much time on this place, but there is an ice cream shop across the road which is very delicious. Our guides slash drivers on this trip were high quality, very friendly, and well educated. And my most awaited tour on this trip is the Yerevan city tour.
Vernissage Market. It is a one-stop shop for all souvenirs that you may need to buy in Armenia. Of course, we also try the traditional food, King Kali. The famous Cascade Complex. It is a giant staircase located in the center of the city and it is one of the main tourist attractions in Yerevan. Armenia is currently an excellent place to visit. It is beautiful, has a stunning countryside and amazing monasteries. The people are friendly, very stylish and fashionable. We enjoyed everything, the history and cultural heritage of Armenia. Overall, it was a really great trip. So to those who wants to visit Armenia, you will not regret it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video as we go to Georgia.